The first thing I'm going to do is use Max Painterly Paint Pot and I'm going to use this as a base to build my shadows on top of. For my brow highlight, I'm going to use Venus Eyeshadow from the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette and I'm just going to use my Sedona Lace 09 brush. I want to start off with a really light eyeshadow just to sweep across my crease and I'm going to use this color from Stila and this is called Creativity. I'm going to layer another eyeshadow and this is from the Guilty Pleasures palette from Bare Minerals and it's definitely a peachy tone and I'm just going to use the Bare Minerals eye defining brush and sweep that across the shadow that we just placed. For my lower lid, I'm going to use a shadow that's pretty light and off-white, but it has a little bit of a shimmer to it. So I'm going to use Skimp from the Urban Decay Naked Basics 2 palette, and I'm just going to apply it with a flat eyeshadow brush, and this is the LB03 brush from Sedona Lace. To lining my lash line and I'm gonna use the Benefits Their Real Push-Up Liner. Now you want to start to create your cut crease. So I'm going to use an eyeliner pencil and this is the Bare Minerals Lasting Line in Absolute Black and start to draw out your shape of your crease and it's easier just to use a pencil because if you mess up you can just blend it out. Now you want to trace over that pencil liner you just did and I'm going to use this Immortal Gel Liner from Makeup Geek and I'm going to apply it with the EB19 brush from Sedona Lace. With a very small tapered eyeshadow brush, I'm going to go back into a warm brown eyeshadow, and this is Wit from Stila. And I'm just going to blend this in the crease right above the black line that we created. And this is just going to blend out the area and add a little bit of warmth to it.
I'm going to go back under my lower lash line with that warm brown shadow and I'm just going to sweep this color underneath it just to tie the look together. Instead of doing a liner underneath my lower lash line, I'm going to take a black shadow, and this is Blackout from Urban Decay, and I'm just going to use a smudger brush just to smudge that shadow out. Bottom lashes, and I'm going to use the Bare Minerals Flawless Definition in black. I'm going to switch up my pair of lashes and I'm going to use the Vixens from Coco Lashes. Now I'm going to apply a bronzer and I'm going to use this color right here and this is from Sephora. It's the Matte Universal Sculpting Trio. With a small angled brush, I'm also going to focus that color in the hollows of my cheeks just for a little contour. For the apples of my cheeks, I'm going to use my 10 blush palette from Sedona Lace and I'm going to use this peachy shade right here. For a highlight on my cheekbones, I'm going to use my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle and I'm just going to apply it with my favorite fan brush from Sedona Lace. Moving on to the lips, I'm just going to use one of my favorite lip pencils from MAC and this is in Strip Down. For my lips, I'm going to use my new favorite lip stain, and this is the Cream Lip Stain from Sephora in color number two. So that's the end of my 60s mod inspired tutorial with the cut crease and full lashes. And if you want to see more makeup tutorials that are inspired by different decades, then it would be really cool to do like a series. So if you want to see me do that, then please let me know down below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in the next video.